Welcome to the SolidCam University channel. This video's topic is C-axis wrap with a continuous pocket. So in a previous video, I showed you how to use the C-axis wrap to do things like profile, pocket, and any kind of toolpath where you're choosing chains that might be wrapped around a central axis. In this case, I'm doing the same thing, but unlike the other video, I actually have a pocket that runs the entire circumference of this rotational part, meaning that there is no start and end of the pocket. So if I were to choose uh, wrapped geometry, I need to actually have a start and end or else it won't actually look like a pocket. Uh, now this is outside of, again, outside of any kind of fourth axis toolpath where I'm going to probably use surfaces or anything like that. This is purely for the C axis wrapped function you'll find in profile and pocket. So how do we tackle a pocket that is essentially a continuous pocket? Well, you'll see from this side that I've actually added some 3D geometry here, and they're basically just lines to uh, add start points for this geometry. So each edge actually just runs around the circumference of the part, around the OD of the part, and I've added these lines to kind of give us a start and end to the pocket. So if I show you the contours that I selected for this pocket, you'll actually see that I start with that one line that I created, go along the top of the surface, and then at some point along the selection of the geometry, on either side, I actually go down one contour to use the bottom edge of the surface, the bottom uh, of, the, of the pocket, essentially. Now, the reason I do that is because I can't actually have a pocket geometry that uses the same geometry. It won't let me reselect it. It'll actually think I'm trying to unselect it. So that's why I've had lines on the top and the bottom. And by choosing at certain points to kind of go up and down, I'm actually choosing separate geometries that actually overlap. So this is now a continuous pocket that is wrapped around the, uh, the circumference. If we take a look at that in terms of toolpath, it actually wraps just like every other wrapped geometry. But you'll see that because I set one edge as open, it overlaps. So let's take a look at that in simulation. So if I put this to half speed, you'll see it actually does the same sort of wrapped pocket geometries we saw in the other toolpath but now it is a continuous pocket. Simply by adding that, that 3D geometry, just those lines there, or I could do a split line to split a surface if there is no thickness to it. If you don't have these walls and, that, and the ability to choose those contours like you saw me do here, you can do a split line and create a line along the, the bottom surface of a pocket. Again, this is just kind of a companion video to that other C-axis wrap video. Any other questions on this topic or any other topics, you can always watch the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel or call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2, or send us your parts and your questions using the ticket system at solidchemsupport.com. Thanks for watching.